In the heart of the Pisgah National Forest, something you might not expect. We'll be opening the gate. This. We'll be coming to the flagpole. An old NASA radio telescope. Oh, God, the gate. Yeah, the fact that it was a former NASA facility, is, it's pretty cool. But now, it's Perry, the Pisgah Astronomical Research Institute. And of course, what's most important to us is we get to have more stars. The darker the skies are, the better you can see the Milky Way. You can see all sorts of other dim objects. On this night, the other objects are Jupiter and Saturn. And a group has gathered in Perry's classroom to get briefed on what they'll see. All of the gas giants and the ice giants there, they all have rings. Easier to see because Perry is a dark sky park certified through the International Dark Sky Association. We're in two circles, kind of like Saturn's rings. To be certified, classes must be offered. Head into a circle and punch a hole right through the center. The place must take light pollution seriously. I can open Dim lights, none that shine upward, manning the telescopes mainly by touch. You want to make this dish move? Their eyes just get three times as big as they see the Milky Way for the first time. Definitely wanted to see Saturn's ring. And on this night, there it is. they did. So this one would like make stars star with filter. three points. Here in the midst of a forest, there's Jupiter. Uh, it'll be obvious when you can see it. Being in the dark, yep, I see it. Yeah, I see, yeah. allows the light it looks good. to shine through. The planets and the moon and the sun always move in an arc across the southern part of the sky.